My dream was to finish my mechanical engineering and do my automobile engineering and hopefully be in Germany working for Mercedes or BMW. But uh, finally I ended up washing some cups and saucers and then continued washing and continued running this place. So there was no other choice. I am at one of the legendary places of Bangalore. I mean like I have not met a single Bangalorean till date who has not heard about this place. Welcome to Koshi's. Well, a legendary place like this is not built in a day. I mean it took years of effort to be where they are today. Well, let's hear it from the owner Santosh Koshi himself about where it all started. Actually, it was started by my granddad, Mr. P.O. Koshi. He started the restaurant in 1952, but uh, he started his business in Bangalore in 1940. He started a provision store, then he opened his bakery, which was in a small room, and then started from there. And once it was 1950, he took over this land, which belonged to the St. Mark's Church, and constructed the Parade Cafe, which was a coffee shop. Then, in a few years, it became a restaurant, a full-fledged restaurant. And then they added on the jewel box, which is an air-conditioned portion. That started in 1962. Yeah, that's the beginning of Koshi's and... Yeah, we are the third generation, me and my brother. And while my brother was studying abroad, doing his food technology and baking science, uh, I was doing my engineering in BMS College. I didn't have a choice, but I had to support my father and uncle. And my mother was very sure that uh, they needed my support. And my brother couldn't come back for 10, eight years, so he was there. And that was like starting from scratch. Koshi's has been one of the iconic places, and that's the reason it has been featured on many of Bangalore's must-visit restaurants. Due to its constant popularity, they have had visitors like Jawaharlal Nehru, they've had visitors like Queen of England, Rahul Gandhi and many other known faces. But this popularity didn't come easy. The Koshi family had to face a lot of challenges to be where they are today. One of the major challenges was back in 1982 when there was a labor strike and all of the workers stopped work and sat outside Koshi's for six months. Mr. Santosh Koshi's father was determined that no matter what, Koshi's won't shut down. It was during this time that even Mr. Santosh struggled to strike a balance between his college education and managing his father's business. So we didn't shut down and we continued with that. And I was going to college and coming here and helping out. But it was not easy, but we had to do it. Because if you shut the day they went out, stuck work, you cannot open till the case is settled. We continued and then it's been 39 years now. They say there is nothing permanent except change. And this was exactly another major problem for the Koshis. Transitioning from an old-fashioned coffee shop of the 50s to becoming a restaurant at par with the current market of the 80s was very challenging. There was a major shift from old conventional eateries to more fine dining restaurants, from conservative customers to a modern cosmopolitan crowd. For me, it was the greatest, it was the most difficult thing to convince the previous generation that we need to change and we need to be in par with them. I had to convince my brother, I had to convince an aunt, Again, after my dad and mom, uh, dad, uncle and my mother passed away in one year. But by the time we did Jewel Box, that's another 10 years which went by. It was not easy, but it was uh, quite uh, difficult and tough at that time because uh, you were playing like gamble. And uh, my brother was not very sure of what we were doing here. And he was saying, who's going to get this money? Who's going to pay it back? Who's going to do everything? But we managed to do it. It's amazing. I mean, these are a few of the signature dishes that you can try for sure whenever you plan on coming down to Koshi's. 
This is the chicken Spanish omelette and this will cost you around 350. This is the chicken liver on toast and this will be around 170. And this is their super breakfast which is Koshi special which has bread, baked beans, poached and a salad and all of that together. This will cost you somewhere around 450. And the taste is amazing, I can vouch for it. Koshi's as a brand has been here since the 1940s, which is like almost, I must say, around 80 years. Given 80 years it has been here and built the name over such a long period of time, I would really like to know what is in store for Koshi's. What is the future plan for Koshi's? Let's hear it from him. Actually, we are just uh, looking at the option of starting a new restaurant. Uh, maybe in a locality like Koramangla or Indranagar. With nearly 40 years of experience, Mr. Santosh's only advice to young entrepreneurs was hard work and perseverance. Because once you have made up your mind, there's no looking back. Keep pushing for at least five years. And as they say, hard work betrays none. Nothing comes easy. And well, Koshis have struggled their way through and finally created a legacy of their own. So if you haven't visited Koshis yet, you should come by and you will be mesmerized by this place, Timeless Charm. This is Rukmini signing off from Curly Tales. See you soon in another episode of Street Stories from Curly Tales.